Now for these questions, we need to divide a decimal by a two digit number using long division. So first, we have 14.08 divided by 32. Because we have a decimal point in our dividend, so that we don't forget, let's copy the decimal point up into our answer straight away. Now, because we're dividing by 32, we need to work out our 32 times table. 32 is obviously 1 times 32, but if we add another 32, we get 64, so that must be 2 times 32. Adding another 32 gives us 96 for 3 times. If we add another 32, we get 128 for 4 times, and adding another 32, 8 plus 2 is 10, so 1, 0, and I've written the 1 in red only so that it's easier to see. Then 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, 1 plus nothing is 1, so 160 must be 5 times 32. And we can be confident that we haven't made any mistakes with the addition, because remember, 5 times any number always ends in a 0 or a 5, and with 160, we have a number that ends in a 0. So now that we've got to 5 times, it's useful to look back to our question, because sometimes we don't need to work out 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 times. So if we take the first two digits together, we have 14, but that's less than 32. So what we need to do here is take the first three digits together and divide 140 by 32. So we need a number in the 32 times table that's as close to 140 as possible, but not more than 140. 128 is the closest number that's still less than 140, so we can write 128 under the 140, and because 128 is 4 times, we can write 4 in our answer line. Now here, because we have a decimal point, it's really important that we write this 4 in the correct place. Remember, we always write the digit above the last digit that we divided, and because we divided 140 by 32, the 4 needs to be written above this 0. So now we subtract and bring down. 140 minus 128 is 12, and we can bring down the 8, so we have 128 divided by 32. We can see that that's exactly 4 times 32. So we can write 4 in our answer, and we don't have any more digits to divide. But here, we've written 0.44 as our answer, and we always need a digit before the decimal point. So because this square's empty, we need to write a 0 to give us 0 0.44 as our answer. And notice, 14.08, though it has more digits, is actually less than 32. And if the dividend is less than the divisor, we'll always get 0 point something as our answer. So you can divide a smaller number by a larger number, but when you do that, you'll always get an answer of less than 1. So now, let's move on to this question. We have 456.3 divided by 13. Again, we can start by copying the decimal point up into our answer, and now we need to work out the 13 times table. 13 is 1 times 13. If we add another 13, we get 26 for 2 times, 39 for 3 times. If we add another 13, 9 plus 3 is 12, so 1, 2, 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5, so that's 52 for 4 times, and if we add another 13, we get 65 for 5 times. And that makes sense, and we can be confident that we haven't made any mistakes, because 5 times always ends in a 5 or a 0, and that's what we have here with 65. So now that we've worked up to 5 times, let's look back to our question. 
Taking the first two digits, we have 45 divided by 13. So we need to find a number in the 13 times table that's as close to 45 as possible, but not more than 45. 39 is the closest number that's still less than 45. So we can write 39 underneath the 45. And because that's three times, we can write three in our answer line. Again, it's really important that we write the digits, we write the multiplication above the last digits that we divided. So because we divided 45 by 13, we need to write the three above the five. So now we can subtract 45 minus 39 is six, and we can bring down the next digit. So bring down this six. That means we need to divide 66 by 13. Now the closest number to 66 in the 13 times table, which is still less than 66, is 65. So we can write this 65 below the 66, and because 65 is five times 13, we can write five in our answer. Now, again, we need to subtract and bring down. 66 minus 65 is one, and we can bring down the three, so we have 13 divided by 13, which is, of course, 1. So that gives us 35.1 as our answer.